Hello, welcome to the Spoon for Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make crispy fish with turmeric and garlic, or ปลาทอดขมิ้น Lopsided circle. So I just gonna get started right now. So we just going to start with all the herbs first, and very simple and easy. We just have the garlic and lemongrass and turmeric. So I have a 35 cup of the garlic. I going to put inside the modern pasta right now. Okay, and now I going to put the, a little uh, teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon, one teaspoon the whole peppercorn, the black peppercorn. Okay. And pile them with the garlic. Alright, so next I gonna uh, put a little bit of fresh turmeric. But every time when you work with the turmeric, you have to put the growth on because it's gonna make your hand yellow. Okay, so I just gonna cut a little. This I already peel the garlic. Um, I already peel the turmeric a little bit. The skin up. You don't have to peel all the way. They cut the same ginger uh, skin. So I just gonna put a little bit. Inside the garlic, okay. Just gonna cut them small, just a little bit, and then we save this for the next step. So just gonna chop them up a little bit, and then put them inside the pasta and mortar. It's easy for us to pile them. All right. And I still working on the garlic, black pepper, and turmeric. So this is turmeric gonna make the our garlic a, a really really nice color and. Smell herby and really really good flavor for the garlic. Okay, so just I just gonna pound everything all together. Okay, so now we're done with the garlic, black pepper, and turmeric. So I going to put inside the plate to separate them, and then we still have to work on the herb. We still have more turmeric, and we still have the uh, lemongrass that we have to pound more, but in the different in the separate time. Okay, for the garlic, we not need to pile them until they really small like a place. We just need a chunk, a big chunk because we're gonna deep fry them. We're gonna make a crispy garlic. If you pile them too small or turn to be the place, you're not gonna be able to uh, make a crispy garlic. Okay, so we set the garlic and pepper and the, a little turmeric we just piled earlier on the side and we're gonna need more turmeric. In Thailand, we call pa thot khamin. Here, yeah, don't forget to put the growth on all the time. And in Thailand, we call this this um, pa thot khamin, not even have the garlic word. Even we put a lot of crispy garlic, but we call just pa thot khamin. So it means like um, a five crispy fish with the Turmeric. So of course so we just going to need more turmeric. Fresh turmeric smell really really good. Um, I recommend you to use fresh turmeric if you can find fresh turmeric than the uh, turmeric powder. It, it's gonna be so much different. And just gonna remove some more skin on this turmeric. My hand gonna get a little yellow because <laughs> I didn't put the crop on the other side. Okay, and then I done peeling the turmeric. For the turmeric, you don't have to remove all the skin. They really, they really thin skin. Um, same thing. I just gonna chop them small so easier for us to um, pile them. Okay. All right. So next is gonna be the lemongrass. I use a small lem lemongrass for my backyard. Um, I just gonna remove the bottom. And for the lemongrass, some recipe not even put lemongrass, but I like how the lemongrass and fresh turmeric and fresh lemongrass together, they really, really good combination. And then they also make the fish smell really, um, smell better. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut the small lemongrass and add them to our fresh turmeric too. Just really little bit, about one teaspoon the lemongrass. Okay, I use two out the fresh turmeric, and next I going to add the one teaspoon salt. One teaspoon salt. Okay, and now I gonna pound the lemongrass, salt, and turmeric. And no worry about the little bit the garlic inside here. It's okay. It will 
and it will be very very good favorite too look at look at the group it's so yellow even this hand a little bit of yellow because i touching so don't forget to uh, use the growth when you work with the turmeric okay so i just this one is gonna have to um pound them until they a uh, little bit fine until they kind of turn to a, be a paste more than the garlic but if the turmeric is very very easy to pile it just take you just a little bit of time and then they turn to be uh, the place very very easy all right so now we're done powering our turmeric it's really quick and easy it takes you just a minute if you use a puzzle and motor like me okay so um i'm gonna leave the turmeric inside the puzzle and motor and we're gonna move on to the fish okay okay for the fish i use the same thing i use the red tilapia today same i um, do it on the the last recipe with the fish so i use the red tilapia and i still have them and then the the crispy fish with the turmeric this recipe and um, really popular in the southeast thailand and the southern thailand it's called ba sai they they popular to use the called ba sai sand fish it's the uh, english is i believe it called hot fish loaf so um anyway i i had to find the same fish so any fish that your favorite it will work for this recipe so and um, same thing i like to dry the fish with the paper towel so it will make it a lot easier you easier for you when you deep fry them and the same thing when you fry crispy fish you want to uh, cut your fish through so it's easier for you to cook and they can be a uh, crispy okay i'm gonna cut three slices like this and I, I will do on both sides the same just put your knife um 45 angle and cut them okay all right so thank you so much for the liquid recipe because they're really really good and i didn't make this just for a while so it should be good time for us to make this today okay and next i'm gonna put the turmeric that we piled earlier with the lemongrass and salt i'm gonna put the on top of the our fish our your favorite fish whatever fit that you like to do with the recipe it will be work okay I'm gonna be gentle. I think I need another group on another hand. <laughs> okay, and now I have the uh, two hand with the group that will be e a lot easier. Okay, I should have do this long time ago. I know. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna be gentle to rub it all the turmeric, um, turmeric and lemongrass all over the fish. Okay, love it. Try to do it everywhere. Oh, the whole fish. Oh, the fish turmeric smells really good. Yes, I really recommend the fish turmeric more than the powder. Okay. Put inside the cup too. Put inside. Put them inside. After you're done rubbing the turmeric uh, on top of your fish, don't worry about the extra we're gonna uh, fry everything together so not worry about the extra but try to do it everywhere and then i'm gonna sit the other side let the turmeric and the herb uh, get into our fish about 10 minutes at least 10 minutes okay and we come back for the next step okay now while we wait for our fish to marinate for 10 minutes okay we're gonna go deep fry our garlic because we for the garlic it will be for the topping okay let's go on to the stove to deep fry the garlic okay now we're going to deep fry and garlic make some crispy garlic for topping okay we're gonna put all Ooh, look at that and then this oil i'm going to um fry the fish too look at this <laughs> they're all because of all the moisture from the garlic but then all the bubble is gonna be gone when all the bubbles start getting gone and getting no more bubble we can remove the garlic okay and for the crispy garlic for deep fried crispy garlic this two it will be really really neat for the deep fried garlic this two it works really really good see that now you can see because i deep fry a lot that's why you see a lot of bubble coming up so 
because we deep fry a lot of garlic okay and now all the bubbles start getting a little let me see we still need to deep fry a little bit more okay and it's not be too long for the garlic start getting crispy so as you can see the bubble already already the bubble less so now here look the color like this it's very golden and the uh, very golden and look crispy. Now we're going to remove the garlic to put inside the plate separate. You're not gonna wait until the they cook too long because the heat, the heat it will make the garlic cook more outside. So you have to remove them before they getting too too dark. The color getting too dark. You have to remove them before that. Okay. Okay. For the same oil that we deep fry the garlic and pepper and turmeric now we're going to deep fry the fish okay i'm going to be careful when you put the uh, the fish mm. you have to make sure i'm gonna put all the turmeric too okay be careful when you put the fish i use a lot of oil because the big fish and i want everything to uh, cook evenly i know i have the extra oil when i deep fry the fish last time so it will be uh, good for me okay i'm going to cook about seven to eight minutes on each side okay okay now be about eight minutes uh, so now i need to flip our fish i have two spatula it will be a lot easier when you flip ah oh, look at this all the oil having a yellow color from the fish or uh, from the turmeric okay mm. <gasps> look at this wow uh -oh. okay i gonna let another side cook another seven minutes if you use the small fish it will be cooked a lot faster but this one a little bit big okay for this side i cook for seven minutes all right so now i'm gonna try to Take it out from the oil. A little bit hot. <laughs> okay, let me turn off the oil and then I'm gonna put inside the, the stainer to let them cooling down a little bit. Let the remove the extra oil. Okay, be careful. I don't want to broke the fish. Oops. Ah, look at how it's gonna be moist and crispy. Mm. Okay, and now we can move on to the next step. We're gonna put the garlic and everything together on this side. Okay, so now I remove the fish into the plate and now we're going to put the crispy garlic on the top. And you can see it's a dark color, but it's just all turmeric. So oh, look at this, the crispy garlic. And same thing, the garlic have the turmeric too. So they kind of like a bite yellow and then crispy. Okay, I'm gonna put a lot on top. Okay. Mm. Serving with the seafood sauce. Oh my goodness, I can't uh, wait to try them. Okay, so it's a lot of crispy garlic on top of the fish like now look little dark because the turmeric okay but trust me it will be really really good and all the the herby favorite gonna get inside this fish all right so now ready to try the fish okay so i have the my seafood sauce that i'm going to eat with the turmeric fish okay now i ready to dig it in oh look at all this gonna come to over over here have a lot of meat and easy to remove so i have to come this way first Look at this fish. Oh, look at how moist and all the crispy garlic. Mm. <laughs> Hard for me. Okay, just this. Okay, look at this. Okay, I want some a little more extra garlic, crispy garlic, some seafood salt, a little seafood salt. Wow, just a little bit of rice for now. But I want you to see all the fish and crispy garlic and everything. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yes. A little bit salty. The favorite food from the herb, the garlic and the turmeric and the fish still crispy on the outside and very moist on the inside. And also the, the seafood sauce 
it helps you with more flavor. And if you want to know how I make this seafood sauce, I will put the link up here um, below. I will put the link for you guys so you can have this uh, enjoy this uh, seafood sauce too. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this recipe. If you like the video or recipe, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you.